Hey friends, welcome back to another crafty decor party. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home where I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some fun and easy DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my little crafty family here. And it will also enter you into the 200K giveaway. So go ahead and plug in those glue guns, Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting. For the first DIY, I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree picture frame that I had chalk painted white and then this farmhouse, just a little sign that I had printed off my computer. I'm going to pop it into this Dollar Tree frame and then I have this piece of Dollar Tree poster board that I cut out to fit the size of a thrift store frame. I also printed out some really beautiful Pioneer Woman um, images off of my computer and I'm just gonna go ahead and line them up to make them look like a window. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some Mod Podge and I wanna begin to Mod Podge from the center of this. That way my window doesn't move around or my faux window. So I'm just using Mod Podge and I'm gonna go from the center and Mod Podge um, the first couple of pieces down from the center and then begin to work my way out. Now that I'm finished with my Mod Podge, I'm gonna take my little thrift store frame. This was just an old gold frame that I chalk painted white. And then for my little farmhouse sign, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this E6000 glue. And I'm also gonna add in hot glue because I wanna put that right directly in the center of my pretty little kind of faux window. I wanna create this beautiful little cottage farmhouse sign to hang above my old vintage Hoosier cabinet in my kitchen. So here's how it turned out, a little bit of Dollar Tree poster board, some pretty prints, and a cute little Dollar Tree frame with that farmhouse. It's kind of that Ray Dunn popped into the center. And I think that it looks really fabulous and very high end for very little money. And it just goes perfectly with my little cottage farmhouse kitchen. I'm also super excited to announce that this video is a collaboration with my amazing friend Heidi at Heidi Sambal DIY. She shares wonderful DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts, decorating, so many fun ideas on a budget. She has an amazing style and I just know you guys are absolutely going to adore her. Plus, she is such a kind and wonderful friend. So when you guys are done watching this video, go check out Heidi's video. Tell her Olivia said hello and that I sent you guys. And if you guys are here from Heidi's channel, welcome. It is such a blessing and an honor to have you all here. I hope you guys enjoy my little crafty decor community. And let's go ahead and jump into the rest of these DIYs. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to make a really cute vintage Dollar Tree scale. I'm going to take this 
aqua colored spray paint and I'm going to take one of those Dollar Tree garden planters. I just flipped it over and I'm going to spray paint it really well. Now this idea is originally from my super amazing friend J Money DIY. I'm going to link her channel down below. You guys have to go check her out. She gave me this idea for this vintage scale and I wanted to try it forever and I finally have the time. Okay so I used a glossy spray paint on the garden planter and it was a little Little bit too glossy so to kind of remedy that I'm just taking this Waverly it's an antique white chalk paint and I'm just gonna gently brush the um, planter with a bit of chalk paint I'm also hoping that it gives it a little bit more of a distressed look I want this to appear really kind of aged and distressed and not new at all The next thing I wanted to do was go ahead and use some black paint and rim the top of my faux scale with just some of this black craft paint. I wanted to give it this appearance of old enamelware. I used to have a flea market booth years ago and I loved these scales. In fact, I actually had one that was kind of in this similar color. I must have sold it or gotten rid of it, but it kind of reminds me of that. So just going around the edges with a bit of this black paint and that's going to hopefully give it more of that cool age distressed look. I also went in with a sponge brush and ran this sponge brush over the paint as well. Now for the next part of this DIY, I just took to the internet and googled a vintage scale clock face and I found this really good one. I printed it out the right size and then I'm taking this Dollar Tree. It's just a plastic plate that actually comes in the party section and I'm going to cut it out. And I ended up cutting out two of these, one that I left more of the lip on and you can see right here I decided to use that one because I wanted the clock or the the scale part to look like it had more of a face. It's not a clock, it's a scale. <laughs> so I'm just using some black craft paint again. And then for the top of my scale, I'm going to use this white dinner plate. It's just from, oh my goodness, a million craft projects. I actually had to have Mr. Romantic scrape the glue off the bottom, but it was gonna work perfectly for this scale. So I'm just rimming the top of this as well with some black craft paint again to give it that cool vintage vibe. I want it to look like that old cool enamel wear. I decided that the side of the scale needed to kind of match it a little bit better and so to kind of seal it off and also give it more of a vintage look I'm going in with some of the Waverly off-white cream colored white chalk paint if you guys add layers of paint, that's really going to give your craft a lot more of a vintage feel. It's going to look more detailed and a little bit more high end. Now I'm going in with a layer of Mod Podge and I'm adding a layer of Mod Podge to the front and then I'm going to add my little vintage scale to the front of that and then I did add another layer of Mod Podge on top of that and I did go in with a Sharpie marker after this had dried just a bit and kind of outlined that little center point of this scale to give it a little bit more dimension. Now that I have my scale front finished, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree napkin ring and I'm going to use some E6000 glue and some hot glue together because I really want these to stay on really really nice. So I'm just rimming this with a bit of E6000 glue and make sure you put your E6000 glue top back on otherwise that glue is going to gush out. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of hot glue in and around that. That way I can get it to hold um, temporarily with the hot glue and then permanently with the E6000 glue. I'm going to pop it into the center here and that way my clock is or my scale is going to have a bit of dimension. So again, I'm going to use the same technique to go ahead and pop that on with the E6000 glue rimming the candle ring and then going back in with a bit of hot glue.
The next thing I'm going to do is use one of those little Dollar Tree dollhouse tables. I painted mine silver. They come wooden and they're just in the doll and toy section of the Dollar Tree. I'm adding E6000 glue to the bottom of it and then a dab of hot glue, really hoping that this is going to stay. And then I'm just going to pop it on to the top part of the little garden planter. And I'll leave a list of the supplies that I used for these DIYs down in the description box below for you all. So once I have that centered on, I'm gonna go ahead and add some E6000 glue and some hot glue to the top of my little table here. And then once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take that little faux enamelware plate that we had prepared. And don't forget also to add in your hot glue. That's gonna get it to temporarily hold because you want that to temporarily hold while that E6000 glue cures overnight. And then I'm just gonna pop my little faux enamel plate on and voila, there we have it. And oh my goodness, I am so excited for this. Okay, I love these little vintage scales and I've had my eye on them at the craft stores and for very little, you guys can make your own. Again, I'll leave some of the supplies down below for you, but how fun and fabulous does this come out? This is probably one of the favorite projects that I've done and thank you J Bunny DIY for giving me this inspiration. Girl, you totally rock it and kill the DIY game, but I am definitely loving it this one. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm just going to take some of those Dollar Tree larger plastic storage containers and some of this really pretty, it's kind of a vintagey green color. It almost looks white on camera here, but it's more of a pale vintage green. Again, I'm going for that really cool cottage farmhouse vibe. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover these containers um, with two coats of the vintage green spray paint. Now, once they have dried, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this Pioneer Woman clip art, go to your Google search, Google Pioneer Woman, and we'll pull up some really pretty images. I just printed this one out. It matches some of my dishes, and I flipped it over, and now I'm gonna trace it out to fit the top of my little container here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. What I wanna do is I want to Mod Podge this to the top of my container. I love the Pioneer Woman and goodies. Um, I do though just try to get them at either birthdays or Christmases and maybe here splurge here and there. So I wanted to create some of my own to match some of my other goodies. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take some Mod Podge and Mod Podge at the top of this lid. And I did even go around it. That way it would seal that paint. And then I'm just going to pop my little clip art on top of that. And I just printed my clip art out on regular printer paper, but cardstock might be a good option as well and then I'm adding another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. Now the other thing I wanted to do was add a flower label to the front of this. Again, this is just Radon clip art um, that I printed out on my computer. I do have a Cricut and I'm going to learn how to use it very soon. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge this little label onto the front of here. I also wanted to give you guys some ideas in case you don't have a Cricut. And then I'm also going to Mod Podge over the front of that. And I did make two of these, one for oats and one for flour and my son has really been crushing on oatmeal cookies so I made some homemade oatmeal cookies and I just thought these containers looked oh so fabulous and perfect for my little cottage farmhouse kitchen comment and let me know what you guys are thinking about that do you love the pioneer woman decor do you love some of her stuff um you can find it at Walmart but I think it's so pretty and fun and it just has this really happy vibe so anyway I hope you guys are loving it. The next DIY, this is actually more of a trash to treasure DIY. I'm gonna take some jars that I've been saving up. I saved up a salsa jar, a pickle jar, and a prego spaghetti jar. I'm just saving stuff during this quarantine to try to craft with. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the spray paint that I had 
from the first project and I'm going to spray paint this lid. I try to do a lot of my painting all together and that way it has time to dry while I work on other projects. So I did end up adding two coats of spray paint to these lids. And then the next thing I wanted to do was reuse the rest of that clip art. And so I'm just tracing out the top. And what I want to do is create some really pretty little jars. Again, Pioneer Woman sells these really pretty jars and they just kind of look like canning jars. And so I decided that we could create our own kind of in a trash to treasure style. Now, if you don't have this clip art, you could also use just a pretty napkin. Or if you're handy at painting, you could even paint some pretty flowers on the top of your jar. Now I'm just going to add some Mod Podge to my lid. I gave it a really good nice coat and I also went around the edge of the lid with the Mod Podge and then I'm going to go ahead and pop my clip art onto the front of that. And I'm using the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge in case I need to wipe these clean because they are going to be for use in my kitchen. And then here's how all three of them came out. And this was a trash project and now it's treasure. So I hope you guys are loving this as well. I thought that it looked super pretty with all of my beautiful Pioneer Woman goodies. And it's just so fun and fabulous and definitely something that will bring a ray of sunshine to my day as I work away in my kitchen. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree soap dispenser and then a Dollar Tree toothbrush dispenser and I want to create a pretty soap dispenser for my kitchen and then also a container to hold utensils in. So I'm just using that same green spray paint. It's by Rust-Oleum and I want to say it's seafoam green. I'll try to look at the can and leave it down below for you guys. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint these and I did end up giving them two coats and that's pretty much all I did with these. I just went ahead and spray painted them to match my pretty new kitchen decor that I have been DIYing here with you guys. And so if you guys can see up there, I added those little petite spatulas they come in a lot of the pioneer woman set and they get lost in my big utensil jar so if you guys collect her stuff or you have smaller utensils the little dollar tree toothbrush holders work perfectly for your little small um, utensils i just thought that'd be a fun little note so as always comment and let me know what was your favorite diy in this video which one will you be recreating and also welcome if you guys are from heidi's channel Thank you for stopping by and thank you guys everybody who has stopped by. Please go watch Heidi's video as she does the most amazing crafts and I'm so thankful and blessed to have collaborated with her. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. I hope you guys are totally inspired to create something beautiful on a budget. Don't forget to subscribe to my Olivia's Romantic Home YouTube channel here. Click the subscribe button. The bell will update you every time I post a new video. I just love to have you guys over here commenting and having fun. It's also going to enter you guys in my 200k giveaway, which I'm going to be giving away a Cricut and $200 to one of you all. So I'm so super excited for that. Definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys are working on. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and also join me on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free. You guys can socialize and connect with other crafty decor friends and post photos of your DIY projects and everything you guys have going on. I love to see what you guys are up to. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. Follow me over there for sneak peeks behind the scenes and a good morning cup of coffee with you guys. I'm a total morning person so I love to just share with you guys what I have going on in my little crazy crafty mama life. So thank you guys for being here. Again, have a beautiful inspired day. Keep up the good work. Crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. I love you all to the moon and back. I can't wait for the next video. Until then, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm,